Hey everyone, welcome to Logan Smosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also consider joining my Patreon page for some cool perks. I'll leave a link in the description. Kurt Von Gut once said, History is merely a list of surprises. It can only prepare us to be surprised yet again. Speaking of history, it's time to experience a blast from the past with music history. During each episode of Music History, I will tell you about some interesting music events that have happened today, October 20th. For time's sake, I trim the list down to 10 essential events. I put them in chronological order. Let's begin. First, on this day in 1950, the super talented solo artist Tom Petty, as well as the front man of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Mud Crutch, and the Traveling Wilburys was born. On this day in 1951, Foreigner's fabulous keyboard player Al Greenwood took his first breath. Happy birthday, Al! On this day in 1955, a man named Harry Belafonte recorded the instantly recognizable Banana Boat song. I certainly went bananas over this song when I heard it for the first time during the movie Beetlejuice. Many years later, Gwen Stefani gave fans a spiritual successor to the Banana Boat song titled Holla Back Girl. On this day in 1964, the dynamic drummer for Hootie and the Blowfish, Jim Sunefeld, was born. Happy birthday, Jim. On this day in 1971, the guy perhaps best known because he said, Pie in the horse. On Family Feud, Snoop Dogg entered the world. Weed! I'd like to wish you a happy birthday, Snoop. On this day in 1977, a terrible tragedy struck Leonard Skinnerd. Just three days after releasing their fifth studio album known as Street Survivors, they boarded a flight bound for Louisiana State University to do a show. Unfortunately, the aircraft ran out of fuel mid-flight and crashed. Several people on the plane perished, including lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist Steve Gaines, backup singer Cassie Gaines, assistant road manager Dean Kilpatrick, and both pilots. After the devastating crash occurred, Leonard Skinner went on a long hiatus until the surviving members resumed making music in 1991 under new vocalist Johnny Van Zant, Ronnie's brother. On this day in 1980, U2 unleashed their debut album called Boy. I Will Follow became a standout single and the album sold more than a million copies in the US. On this day in 1983, a country hall of famer who wrote songs such as Dark as a Dungeon, I Am a Pilgrim, and 16 Tons, Merle Travis, died due to a heart attack at age 65. Rest in peace, Merle. On this day in 1997, Canned Heat's highly regarded guitarist Henry Vestine was discovered dead within his hotel room. He was only 52 years old. Rest in peace, Henry. Last but not least, on this day in 2003, Amy Winehouse put out her first album, which she dubbed Frank, named after Frank Sinatra, who she greatly admired. Frank managed to go triple platinum in her home country, England. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing that took place on October 20th? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then. Rock on.